Greetings and blessings from the Most High, Jack Rastafari, Crawford Ashley, the spiritual boxer. And I want to talk about boxing or what boxing gave to me and my life. <clears throat> well, people know I had to box from 7 till 18. And then I became a man and I could do what I wanted. And I didn't box. I didn't box. Oof. And for about two or three years, I just, I just played and got into trouble a lot. And then I changed my life and went back to the boxing gym because it was what was missing. And I went for a walk with uh, my friend the other day. We had a really good chat. And I said something which came out of my mouth, which kind of like shocked me a little bit. And it was, I need boxing in my life. You know what I mean, I need boxing in my life and it was, <laughs> it actually shocked me. Because the realization that something I love, I need it as a part of my life. I'm not a boxer. I'll never box again. But what I've learned feels like it needs to come out needs to be taught and there's one thing boxing is a journey with no end in sight because if you think about it what do you want to do what do you want to achieve when you when you first start out boxing you want to become a world champion but when you're a world champion why don't you retire and why don't you stop because you've achieved what you want to achieve so boxing is not about attaining the title or anything it's about enjoying the journey the journey of discovery and i really enjoyed my journey and like the trinkets at the end of it the world titles and that that none of that matters if you understand what the journey is about there's no destination and enjoy every minute of it because it's over quick and um, yeah, somebody said I should be proud of what I've achieved. What have I achieved? Living the life I wanted to live, being happy, being content. I am proud, but I don't need to jump and shout it from the roofs. You know, it's like, <laughs> none of it matters. It was the journey for me. It was always about the journey. And the best thing about um, retirement for me was discovering that just because I retired from boxing and I'd, I'd didn't become a boxer. My life wasn't going to end. It was. There's other things that I really like and I really enjoy doing. And it's why did I box? Because I loved it. And I, it's one of them. I smile. There's more to my life than being a boxer. There's more to my life than boxing. But I just love boxing being a part of my life. If that makes any sense, I don't. I don't know. All I know is I'm passionate about what it taught me. It taught me that this is your journey. This is your path. And you've got to walk it and fulfill your path. You can't live for other people or what they perceive or what they want for you. You've got to live for you. It's like um, suffering. I've got people who talk about I'm suffering with depression. I've never suffered with depression. I've lived with depression. It taught me a lot. I don't suffer with pain. I live with pain. It teaches me a lot. You know, I don't, I've never suffered in my life. For a few days maybe feeling sorry for myself 
when I pick myself up my life still goes on and my life's good because I'm not looking for anything I found everything that I want I've got this inner peace and I've always had that inner peace it's, it's really nice I know everything's going to be alright I know everything's good I always have done and happiness is just a state of mind it's just what you think and you can change your emotions just by changing your thought patterns and sometimes that can be very difficult when you're depressed how do you change your thought pattern well if you're aware it's a it's not leading anywhere do something just do something different sing a song chant which i used to like doing you know it's like here i got a cup of coffee it's warm it's warming my hands up i like coffee i don't like the kid that my hands hurt but it's easing it because it is anyway I don't even know what I was trying to get at there the one thing is is I wasn't looking for anything I wasn't looking for respect I wasn't looking for celebrity status I wasn't looking for anything I was just looking for me who am I? who am I? who am I? You know, and it's like now with all these people my age making comebacks, coming out of retirement to put on exhibitions. I don't know why. Me and my body can't go through what it takes to get into a ring. You know, to me, I just don't want to do the sport that I love and the service you know it's for young it's for the young men finding out who they are we're old men we already know who we are you know what I mean we don't need to do it so well if you want to do it do it if you enjoy it do it that's like anything else in life nobody has a right to tell you how to live your life because that is a waste of life living somebody else's life live your own life and live it well have some fun make people laugh first of all laugh at yourself because we're all idiots anyway i'm off to do some training if you want to watch watch because that's what i'm going to do some exercises now just for me just for my my little self anyway out to Friday hopefully, hopefully I'm going to try and do answering a couple of questions one was how did I start off on my meat free vegan lifestyle well that was kind of easy and what's your protein source apart from greens <laughs> I don't know I'm not a dietitian like I said I listen to my body and at one point my body shut down on me all I was eating was chocolate I wasn't eating anything and my daughter got a bit worried and she told me to go eat so i went to buy some chicken and i just looked here and i just felt sick so to me my body was turning away from me for a reason i don't know it was for me it was very easy i don't miss meat at all any type of meat I don't need it and fish I used to eat a lot of fish until um, I did my research into Fukushima and then you'll understand why I don't eat fish anymore the seas are contaminated with radiation poisoning and you put that into your system I didn't like who I was I didn't like what I was I was out of weight, out of condition over, I mean overweight, out of condition uh, my life wasn't good I wasn't happy with myself and I really do put my diet I'd say the things that about me most was my diet meditation and training now the training 
I just do, you see what I do, I don't do a lot. I just, if I can do one press up, I'm happy. And it's about me, it's about my feelings. Um, the meditation, I find that amazing. Just sitting there, just counting my breaths and just being aware of my thoughts and when they come in and I'm aware of them, go back to counting if I can remember where I'm at. 108 breaths, like I said before, that's helped me a lot. And my diets, I'd, I'd put them free to connect together, so be active, go for walks, and also sometimes just be silent. Just sit, don't do nothing, just be aware of who you are. Because I don't listen to news, I'm not interested in the news, it's all lies and propaganda because they want people living in fear and worry. And I don't know why. Stress, I don't know why. But anyway, I've answered the question. If, um, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Drop a comment. I'll try to answer most of them. I'm not very good at writing because <coughs> I'm just not very good at it. I don't like it. That's a time from when I was at school and I'll explain that in, an, in another video if other people want to know. Oh, this is just about boxing, I don't know. I don't know where it wants to go. That's down to you, the people out there who are watching this. If you're getting something from it, please let me know. I'll see which direction I can go in. I'll go in all directions because that's it. You know, I, I figured that out. Until I don't like doing it, then I'll stop doing it. But right now I'm really enjoying doing this and what I'm doing. And if people are getting benefit on of it, out of it, then it's a double whammy. A double whammy. You know what I mean? Both wins. Anyway, I want until tomorrow. Or Friday or Saturday or whatever day I do again. Anyway, bye.